Well, it's a short list of men and women who have held UFC belts simultaneously in two divisions, and God damn it, DC, you're on that list, man. Let's see how it goes for you here tonight, though. You're the underdog. I'm one of the blessed ones, John, to have been able to accomplish the things that I've accomplished, but it's taken a lot of hard work. Really focus on the striking, the grappling, having a great team at the American Kickboxing Academy, and as I walk to the Octagon tonight, I am trying to show all the work that I have put in and hope that it's enough to get the hand raised once again inside the UFC's octagon. It is amazing to think that you didn't get your start in mixed martial arts until you were 31 years old. And one thing I've always said about you, even if it hasn't been the greatest training camp of your life, you have a penchant for rising to the occasion. There's something about fight night and those bright lights that once you sort of flip that switch, you're able to excel when a lot of guys fall. I'm a competitor from yeah. the octagon of man. I just want to uh -huh. win. All right, the UFC Hall of Famer, Khabib Nurmagomedov, getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbula get in there between rounds. Little guy's got a lot to say. <laughs> Habib Nurmagomedov set to fight DC. Daniel Cormier. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If you see this, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Daniel D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight Khabib Nurmagomedov. Figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Khabib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Early connection with the left from the champ. Cormier's looking to pass in the half guard here, but he's denied. Nice pass. That Darce choke is tight. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, he got to the spot. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Cormier. Well, he's got his back now. Cormier gets back up here. A big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, Javier Mendez. 
as Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early this year. He's going guillotine. That guillotine is tight. a lot of good movement. Mm, that was nice. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground upon him. Cormier's back in half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Our position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Under two minutes in round one. This is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on him. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Cormier. He has done such a great job of targeting that cut that now, he has his opponent in a critical situation. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, oh, in good position to rip off a Kamora here. Oh, he's got the Kamora position locked in now. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Need to work. Need to work. That was a slick transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Takes his back now. Oh, good defense, yes. 15 seconds to go. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by the Meta. Ten seconds, These ground strikes are starting to add up. It's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye, and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Round Great two. Fight. Habib Nurmagomedov. And on the Great. other side, there you are. So much about the wrestling and the grappling, you can't sleep on the Mago Medov's boxing. Single. Oh, nice job 
time there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom five. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Cormier's got the full mount. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. DC half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. He's got to start going now. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game time. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good work from the top here by Cormier. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. Cormier out of the half guard here. We'll see if he can work for a dominant position. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Just stay calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Now he's going full mount. Big ground and pound. Yep, got to be very careful there. Constantly a moving target. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes. We knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that... All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Nermanko Medos is able to flatten him out now. This could be real trouble now. 90 seconds to go in round two. Cormier's in half guard now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Block. He gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Beautiful ground and pound, and that will cut it. One minute now to go round two. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Mermago Manov's right back to the full mount. He goes back to the well and lands another strike to the top. And now you can see the swell. 20 seconds left. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Nermago Meta. Another ground and pound strike gets home. You have to fight back. Uh, Round three next. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level 
to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. This is a terrible position. Wow, well, that eye is officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. What a strike from off of his back. Another ground and pound strike lands. Side control now. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Now he's got a good body position, yup. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him, you see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes long. Oh, Superman punch! And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Wow, actually got the takedown. Working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Cormier's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Oh, in the mouth. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Cormier. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do? to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat. Rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. Oh, man, that was slick. Do some work, guys. All right, feet on the hips here. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on. Nice defense. down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Oh, a huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're gonna get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the strike that right right show up. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at that time. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Cormier's in half goal. 
Final seconds here. Oh, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Corbin. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, heading back to the corner, and Nurmago Medov's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five hundred rounds. All right, here we go with the fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Ref will help you here. Just like the referee will never take a guy out of the mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Nermago Medov's in half guard. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Nermago Medov's right back to the full mount here. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Oh, he's got the ground and down going now. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow. He's gonna try to take his opponent's back here, and he does. Cormier's eye. Does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut. So that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. These round strikes starting to pile up. Oh, this could be over soon. Oh. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, man, another strike right on that swollen area. Somebody get the man an ice pack, please. Well, he's avoided a lot of the It's over. Oh, With a huge win tonight. What a performance. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 23 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Mirbago Mela. All right, Khabib Nurmagomedov, your winner by TKO here tonight. What cannot this man do? Incredible result for your former teammate tonight. I mean, he can do everything inside the octagon, and he's showing that he's just getting better and better and better. This is Khabib Nurmagomedov at the full extent of his skills, showing everything, doing everything, and earning 
a massive TKO victory. Huge reaction in the corner, and you sort of feel like he's adding layers to his striking with every passing UFC fight. Scary proposition for the rest of this UFC.